All right, we're back. We're back. We're back with another edition, week 13, part three of the Ravens Roundup. Uh, this time, we're going to focus in on the LB, the linebacking core. As you see in this picture right here, we got um, Terrell Suggs leading the pack out. Uh, you see Judon in the background. You see Smith, see Mosley, see some of those other guys coming out. They're probably coming out for warm up. This is a great picture. Um, let's get right into it and kind of see what those LBs did this week to shut down the uh, Falcons. They only had 135 uh, yards of total offense. 131 passing, uh, 34 rushing. As you saw in an earlier video, how we shut down Julio Jones, one of the premier wide receivers in the NFL. Uh, let's dive right into it and see how the LBs help with the run game and the passing game. First play is going to be uh, C.J. Mosley scraping over the top, uh, seeing an open hole and just shooting the gap. i let this uh, view right here play through so you can see it almost live action-ish. You know, I just made that word up live action ish. And the back view, we'll get to, a, to the breakdown of it. All right, here's CJ Mosley right here. And he's really going to be unblocked because of the line, the good job the D lineman do. And when he sees that, that alley, that lane, I'll pause it when it happens. You'll see him just shoot through there and go get the tackle. Some sort of stretch for the um, Falcons. Uh, outside zone, maybe. Unblocked. 69 was supposed to double and come to him, but because of his, he played he played inside out, which means he didn't overrun the play, and he's in great position there if he tries to cut it back, and he's in the right gap. 69 committed too far to this double team, couldn't come back, shoot the gap. Good tackle. Good solid tackle behind the line of scrimmage. T for L. All right, his next play is uh, Terrell Suggs sack. He goes Suggs right here. Going to get good pressure, and they're going to um, get Matt Ryan out of this. Suggs going to go get him. Came four. Smith almost got him and flushed him to um, Suggs. The old man still hunting. Ball so hard, University. All right, here's Suggs over here to the right side of the screen. Uh, Smith is really going to force the pressure. So Smith is right here, so watch. Let's watch Smith first. Taking on straight power. No moves, just straight power. Now he causes Matt uh, Ryan to get off his spot and, and move. Now when he moves, he flushes him right to Suggs. Look at how the Ravens control this pocket. This pocket is shrinking. Every With every step, it's shrinking. With every split second, it's shrinking. And so now we got the, the main pressure here. Force him out to Suggs. He maintains C-gap. All he did was maintain C-gap. Don't let anybody get outside of him. Make the sack. That's simple. That's simple. Play, play your defense the way it's designed to play. No hero ball. Stuff like this happens. Play number three, uh, Zadarius Smith sack. Boom, up and under, get him out of there. Straight dip and rip move. Get a great view of it right here. Here's Smith, great dip and rip move. Fire off, slap that hand out the way and bring, bring this left hand over and it's all over with for him. Way well, brought it under. I'm sorry, he ripped it. I'm, I apologize. Slap there. They gonna rip right up under. Now nah, it's free run. Now nah. free run to the QB. Sack. Simple, simple. When you one on one matchups, go get the QB D line and linebackers. When you one on one matchups. Next play. Terrell Suggs tackle for loss. So it's going to set the edge right here. He's the C-gap player. But actually, since the tight end brought tight end over here, he's the D-gap player. Outside edge, he's the alley player. I say that because Weddle's sitting inside of him. So Weddle's your C-gap player. The Sug setting the edge, and he's your B-gap player right here. Get him set that edge, then go make the tackle. A lot of guys set the edge and just let the linebackers run, the inside linebackers run to go make the tackle. Real Suggs set the edge and went and made it himself. Now, what I was saying earlier is Suggs is your alley defender, Well is your C gap player, here's your B gap player, and here's your A gap player. Watch him set that edge. Bam. He knows what's coming now. So all you gotta do is don't don't let him force him out any wider. Set the edge. Maybe a linebacker should be scraping, which is Mosley. But he sets the edge and go go and make the tackle. Bam. Hey, and let me let me go back to this. 
The reason this guy has that much energy is because the offense is controlling the clock by running the ball. The offense is controlling the clock by running the ball. You don't see this energetic Suggs early in the year because they were always on the field because of three and outs, four and outs. I digress. We play, we talking about defense right here. All right, next play. Now watch this ball get off by Judon right here. Judon's right here. Watch this ball get off. I'm going to see if I can stop it as soon as the ball is snapped. Ooh, the center still got the ball. Look at that man. On the other side of the line of scrimmage already. No chance for that tackle. Not a chance in hell for him to make that block. What you mad about? You missed the block. Watch it. Here it is right here. Timed it perfect. Got up under. Sack. Timed it perfectly and got up under. So the ball get off was awesome. I just watched that shoulder once he gets to a contact point. Got right up under Ben. Ben in front of him. Now it's a straight sprint. Condensed the pocket. Condensed the pocket. Sack. There it is. Great ball get off. Borderline offsides, but great ball get off. And the creme de la creme for this game defensively. The uh, sack, fumble, uh, scoop and score. Let's let it run through first. I'm not going to even uh, attempt to pronounce Peanut's last name. So we just going to call him Peanut. All right. And uh, it touchdown by Tavon Young. Scoop and score. Pitcher time. Uh, here's Peanut. Uh, Peanut O right here. He's going to uh, go to. He's coming off the edge. He's going to get trying to uh, blitz Matt Ryan. The back, I think this this is Edo Smith. He comes across to block uh, Peanut and misses. He falls down or whatever. Peanut jumps over him, slaps the ball, sack fumble, then Tavon scoops and scores. Now, Tavon's not even in the screen right now, so I don't even know where he came from to, to even get the ball. Oh, there he's on the other edge. There he goes. Tavon's coming off the other edge, right outside the screen. Peanut jumps over Edo, slaps the ball. Right in the table on hands. Don't get tackled. You knew he wasn't going out right there. Another defensive touchdown. Uh, I don't know if this is three in three games, but I definitely know it's two. Because Suggs got one. Um, the now, I don't know if it was last game or game before that. But again, uh, T. Suggs is leading these guys out. He's playing a lot less snaps, so you're getting a fresher, uh, a more energized T. Suggs. And, and I don't know if you noticed it or not, but we only carry four D tackles for the most part. And we only play two at a time. So those linebackers are out there in D-tackle roles and they're beating old linemen. And whatever the communication scheme is they got on defense right now, it's working. It's, I mean, it's, it's, they're dominating teams. Um, the Falcons had, what, 16 maybe? But they really only scored three. We gave up an offensive touchdown on a Lamar fumble. And then the, the drive they scored on, the referees, I think, threw maybe four or five flags. So in my opinion, the defense only gave up three points. Great job, linebackers. Great job, D-line. Great job, back end. This is Coach Evans, uh, week 13, part 3 of the Ravens Roundup. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, share it with everybody you know that's a Ravens fan on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. I appreciate all your views and all your subscriptions. Trust me, I do appreciate it. I notice it. And if you comment, I guarantee you I'll get back with you. I'm out.